Hey, what's up? I'm Cleo Sim, and this is Cleo Sim Plays, where Cleo Sim plays something other than The Sims. Today's game is Crooks, the Big Heist. Now, there's a bunch of information in the description, including developers, uh, when the game came out, where you can get it if you want to play, stuff like that. It's all in the description. But, uh, we're ready for a little B&E action, so, uh, let's go. Now, I won't be talking while the game is talking. It all started in Venice in the late 60s, back when we weren't sure if we'd win the space race. Some rusky had just done the first spacewalk. Then the Surveyor, the first lunar soft lander was launched, which brought the Luna Stone down to Earth. Back then, nobody really knew just how far out that rock was. Guess that's why they let the Europeans stick it in a museum. All of San Francisco was buzzing about it. We'd even found a potential buyer. When we asked Don Cesare to fund our heist, honey, he couldn't cut the check fast enough. Back then, there were still six of us. Murray's plan seemed airtight. That cat had thought of every detail. Basically, everything in Venice had gone according to plan. For Murray, anyhow. Welcome to Venice, guys. Welcome to the Fondaco de Marachini. I hope you had a good flight. Food could have been better. Murray, before we get the Luna Stone, give us some time to get oriented. Okay. So as I was saying, uh, when the game's talking, I'm probably not going to be talking. But if I do happen to talk when the game's talking, I did put on captions so you'll be able to read and see what's going on. Um, this is the tutorial. And... Uh, it's important because story purposes. So, um, oh no, I didn't. I thought I took care of that already. I must have turned something else off. Be sync. Okay. Back to the game. What happens is, is this cursor will stay inside the game. I won't be able to uh, deal with my computer until I turn that hardware thing back on. Uh, now, do this. And um, zoom in. Good enough, Cleopatra. Yeah, I'm good. I want to see the map again. The riskiest spots are the ones you overlook when you're planning. Don't worry. My plan is airtight. We'll grab the stone, as long as the museum still keeps it in the attic. All right, here's the map. And it shows you the doors. This is the, the, the thieves. <laughs> Uh, that is Rocket, I believe? Yeah. You see, the path to the Lunar Stone is not that confusing. Do what I say, and you'll be fine. Just don't do anything stupid, Murray. Trust me, Lobkowitz. Okay, let's go. Ready, Cleopatra? Runner, check. Rocket, Bishop? Contortionist, check. Locksmith, check. Like I said, planning is everything. Lobkowitz? Yeah, yeah. Technician, check. All right, um, double click on Lopkovitz. Um, he's got a waypoint over here. Click Luna that. Stone, here we come. Hover over the cursor, uh, the um, switch, which is right there. Let me turn this around for you. Now we're gonna click switch. And unpause the game. Whoops. You might want to see what's going on. Bishop, your turn. Break open that security door. No problem. All right. So double click on Bishop. There's his door. Ah, 
reliable as ever. Just a garden variety R30 K lock. Piece of cake. How's it going, Cleo? Really funny. What does locking me in here have to do with the plan? I'll explain later. Just try to get out, will you? You really are sick, you know that, Murray? All right, so we're gonna go click on Cleo. And here's some waypoints. Now it says left click one, like this one. And then click delete. Or this. That wasn't so bad. I've had just about enough of your little games. Okay, I'm letting you out, Cleo. Just head through the open doors. Seriously, what are you up to, Murray? Hurry up, honey. I've been waiting here long enough. Come on, girls, don't fight. The coast is clear, so let's get upstairs. Alright, so, um, we're going upstairs. Okay. Very good. Everything's going according to plan. Yeah. This all seems easier than it should be. Are you sure you haven't overlooked anything, Murray? Yes, I'm sure. Now focus. There will definitely be more to take than just the lunar stone. Get going, Bishop. Open the door for Rocket, and make sure you don't forget any loot. I don't think I like your tone, Murray. <laughs> I like your tone. Alright, so, uh... We're gonna go pick up this, uh... Briefcase. Eh. Oh, that's, a, that's a camera. This... Okay, that's a switch. That's a... And then the, the switch. Oh. <laughs> Bishop, you've seen these kinds of cameras before. Very funny, Murray. I thought you were going to deactivate the camera. Come on. It's just more fun with a little risk. Alright, so we're gonna let him finish. As you can see, our heat o meter now says inconspicuous because Bishop was seen on this camera. You guys need to work on your coordination. Timing ain't just a restaurant in Chinatown, you know? Ah, uh, yes. Timing? Ah, ha, ha. First time we worked together, remember, Bishop? How could I forget? That job was more a question of patience for me. When's it my turn to do something, oh great mastermind? All in due time, honey. The path is clear. There's no need to rush. Alright, so Rocket. Um her waypoints over here. Alright, click the line. Oh, wait, over here. Then left click the waypoint, and then left click the hourglass symbol, double click, okay, oh the terminal, let's go everybody, in position. All right, so I click this flag and she'll go. Well, that worked out. Surprise? Wouldn't be the first time you didn't realize for sheer enthusiasm that you were being filmed. Is that so? Murray, we're all professionals here. Stay out of it, Cleo. All right, Rocket, <laughs> you're up. You'll Get understand you more about baby. that Call conversation. Me, later on in the game uh, about it would you 
you didn't realize that you you've been filmed before. So we're gonna select Rocket. Uh, she's gonna go get this key. Right click the security door. Whoa. And use the key. But you gotta tell her to wait. And get the key. And use the key. I think that's a lot of unnecessary whatever, but I understand what it's saying is for her to wait before she unlocks it. And then uh, hit this switch. Your call. See, that worked. Save it, Murray. All right, let her do what she was supposed to do. I can see two crowbars. Knock yourself out, buddy. Alright, so he's going to pick up the crowbar. Use it on this door. Crowbar. And he's going to pick up this other crowbar. And hit the switch. So he wants to look at the map. And what you see here are two guards. And you are seeing what their pattern is. They're just standing there. It's safe. They can't even leave their room. Hey, are you gonna just leave me here? Don't worry, Cleopatra. Now it's your time to shine. All right, she's going to do this switch. That's how she shines. Murray, can you turn off that light barrier somewhere? Don't worry, just walk on by. Could you be any more unprofessional? It's a distraction. Give me a little credit, would you? Okay, so this is the light barrier she's talking about. And as you can see, this wide blue radius is how much noise is going to be generated when she goes through it. Now over here is a guard and he's going to hear her. So we'll just uh, get going. Wow, Nothing happened. Well, that was thrilling. Mr. Finlopkovitz, would you be so kind as to hand me the crowbar? I would be inconsolable. Were I ever to let you down, Miss Rollins, please do accept this tool. Rocket, this is a man thing. Screw you, Murray. I'll do it. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go over here. And we're going to click this. And then we're going to drop the crowbar. And then we're whoops, going to go there. Hey! Open up! That's the police officer who's trapped in that room. Walking around in a circle. Alright, so Rocket is going to pick up said crowbar. use it on this door. Another blue radius showing you how much noise it's going to make. Did 
See? I told you I could do it. Great. Rocket. Are you done acting like children? Stick to the plan, damn it. One more switch. And you're there. There are guards waiting right behind that door. Are we just going to stand here, or are we going to bag the loot? Murray, are you sure everything's going according to plan? I have a bad feeling about this. My God, act like a bunch of babies, why don't you? All right, we're gonna have Rocket get the switch. All right, there is the Luna Stone. We'll have her pick it up. All right, so uh, we're just gonna have people get into position. Who are we waiting on, Bishop? <laughs> he moves the slow to, slowest. Murray had totally screwed us over. Chazara bailed us out and we even found a way to pay him back. But after Venice, the team fell apart. And without a team, we had no chance to ever pull off the big jobs again. I suppose this is exactly what Murray had in store for us. No more sharing with anyone. Especially not the Luna Stone. Lobkowitz fell off the face of the earth. We didn't hear a peep from him for years. Rufus and Rocket, the Rawlings siblings, went back to professional wrestling. All they really got out of it was bumps and bruises. Bishop founded an environmental group and dedicated his life to saving the planet. We'd occasionally do jobs together, but it wasn't the same. There were rumors that Murray had slimed his way into circles of people with power and influence. But no one really knew where that rat was hiding. Five years later, the Luna Stone was on exhibit again. In San Francisco, right in front of our faces. Accident or not, Bishop and I agreed that Murray would try to make off with the stone again. This time, he needed to pay for what he did to the crew. This time, the Luna Stone would be ours. And Don Cesare was ready with intel for step one of the plan. Okay, so uh, that's the intro to Crooks, the big heist. I'm going to go ahead and uh, record a second episode after this. That'll be the uh, the first heist. Uh, so we did Don't Crook Now. And we're going to be doing A Fistful of Pink Feathers next. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And join me again for Cleo Sim Plays. I'm Cleo Sim, and I'm out.